Hey guys, and welcome to Pistachio Shank walkthrough. Um, I want to get something out of the way real quick. Um, I think, I'm not sure I haven't uploaded the co-op videos yet, but I believe that the, um, I was recording in, you know, 16x9, so I think it squished the videos into a 4x3 box. So, um, I'm changing that this time around. I'm recording in a, um, 4x3 box, so it should be a little bit easier to see, so, um, but yeah, like I said, I don't know for sure just yet, but, um, anyway, without further ado, let's get this on. Um, Shank, I've already beaten it, um, this is definitely not a, a blind run, but Shank is, like, one of my favorite games that I've played in a long time. I mean, it's just that good. I mean, in my opinion, um, as far as, like, Game of the Year, this could be it, because I know there's a lot of great games that came out, you know, um, anyway, I'll talk to you after the cutscene. What are you drinking, buddy? I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Around here, it's usually someone that's looking for us. Oh. I can't wait to try out your girlfriend. Found her! Oh, oh. oh God! <sighs> I'd kill you now, friend. But I want you to hear her scream. No! No! Stay! Uh, no! Ah! You'll fight, Ben? Not of this wrestler. I heard you were dead. You heard wrong. I hate to be wrong. I got your old friend Shank here at the bar. What do you want me to do with him? Finish him. Got it. Hit him! Alright, here we go. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm gonna be uh, rocking the um, Wild Man Shank, aka Logan from X Men. Um, yeah, because he's just awesome. But uh, like I was saying, with the whole Game of the Year thing. I know a lot of you, a lot of people, are like, what Shank Game of the Year? Yeah, right. That's just a fifteen dollar downloadable title. But I mean. You know, there are a lot of good games that came out, Final Fantasy XIII, God of War 3, uh, you know, Reach is coming out soon, uh, and Call of Duty, uh, I'm not a huge Call of Duty fan, I just, I don't know, I, anyways, that's another, another, uh, conversation for another time, but basically, you know, sometimes you just gotta go back to how much did I enjoy that game, not, okay, what are the production values, you know, how many people are playing it, you know, it's just, how fun was Shame. it, you know? He's and this back. game is the Whoever most fun game him, I've played we'll and since probably, and I, I don't know, maybe Devil May Cry 3. Anyway, I'll just let you guys see for yourself. But in my opinion, this is definitely... I'm definitely keeping this one in mind for a uh, game of the year. Yeah, so uh, basically I unlocked all the weapons, but most of the time I'll just be rocking with the uh, the chainsaw and the pistols, uh, most of the time. But, um, you know, 
there are better weapons to use, but I mean, I just think these are the most fun. Uh, um, I know in a lot of reviews people were complaining because you know, the game isn't really that long. Uh, and it's not. I mean, you know, you'll beat the co-op you know, if you have a buddy to play with in about an hour, around an hour. And then, um, you know, you'll beat the single player game probably about, you know, three hours, somewhere around there. But if you're one of those people that likes to play, you know, these kind of games over and over again like myself, then it's totally worth the fifteen dollars. No question, it's just the best downloadable game I've ever played. And I'm not really huge on the DLC games in the first place. I mean you know like Castle Crashers and stuff like that. I'm just not huge on that. But uh, this is definitely it just it feels like a high production game. I mean it doesn't you know you know it's not, but it just Everything just works so well together, you know. A uh, really good strategy if you know you're playing the game on hard or you just don't want to take any damage at all um, is to actually use the, the chains and uh, the shotgun. I find that. Uh, Probably the most useful combo, especially in hard mode. I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so basically, you know, you grab a guy, you can use him as a beat shield. And everyone else can pretty much, you know, kill him for you. And you grab the big guys, uh, they go down pretty quick with the chains. Just a couple tries to get them. And then, you know, if you get in a tight spot, you get your shotgun out and just mow them all down. Another thing you can do, and this even works with enemies with full health, you just jump on them, do a combo with your shanks, and then do a combo with your fists, and they'll die. So that's probably the most effective weapon combo I've found. But I like the chainsaw, and it's just fun. Ah! Punk. Probably should have given him a grenade. He got real good. Nah, he's almost dead. Oh, you're getting a grenade, though. <laughs> oh, man, guys. I just. I love this game so much. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh. Okay, so this guy, he's pretty easy. He just dodges up, uh, hits and attacks and stuff. Oh, <laughs> Unlike I demonstrated right there. Oh, oh. And then you just start walking. Uh, there's like several different things you can do. You can like run up a wall and jump over him. You know, if that's easier for you. And when he does that, you know, if you don't jump over the wall, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dash and then jump right after that. And then I think there's like several bosses. Yeah, I think there's one more boss in the single player that plays just like this guy. And <laughs> I didn't jump that time. And then there's uh, the boss at co-op. I think it's the final boss at co-op. That uh, basically the same thing. I guess if I wanted to make things interesting, I just push things down. Oh, 
<laughs> fudge. Okay, that's it. You know, we gotta do this with your health. Right. Yep. No, I'm not fight. I'm not finishing you off just yet. Woo! Shake. Cutting a little close there, buddy. There we go. That's what I'm talking. 